In this lesson, we're going to learn about comparing different place values with powers of 10. To help us answer a simple question, which is digit in the hundreds place is how many times the digit in the tens place? And the number that we're going to use to help us answer this question is 55 and 55 hundredths. Now we really need to think about the question is asking us. The digit in the hundredth place is underlined here. That's five hundredths. The digit in the tenths place is underlined here. That's five tenths. Let's think about what we know about place value to help us answer this question. Okay, we know for moving to a larger place value, or for example, going to the left and moving larger, every number is 10 times greater than the number before it. For example, 5 tenths is 10 times greater than the number that came before it, which was 5 hundredths. 5 is 10 times greater than the number that came before that, which would be 5 tenths. Now, at the same time, if we're moving to the right, we're moving to smaller place values. Every time we move up one place value smaller, instead of that place value being greater, it will be smaller and it will, it will actually be one-tenth of the place value that you're moving from. Five ones is one-tenth of 50 or five-tenths. At the same time, if we move to the next place value smaller, five-tenths is one-tenth of five ones. Next place value smaller, five-hundredths is one-tenth of the place value before it, which is five-tenths. Now this can be very confusing when a question is asked, such as the one we have here. It is all about understanding exactly what the question is asking you. I like to use the strategy of taking the words in the question and making it into a number sentence or an expression. So let's look at our signal words that we have and the important information that we have in the question. The first, let's read it again. The digit in the hundredth place is how many times the digit in the tens place? We have the digit in the hundreds place is how many times, something that we don't know, we have our signal word, which is times, then the digit in the tenths place. Our signal word times tells us the operation that we'll be using. Okay, now let's use those signal words and the important information that we found and just try to write that into an expression or a number sentence. Digit in the hundredth place. I'm going to underline that. That's here. That's five hundredths. So I'm going to write five hundredths, just the value of that digit. Five hundredths. Now I want to use, well, I got that from here. I want to use is now. We've learned that is is a word that can also mean equals. Five hundredths is how many times? How many? We don't know. It's something we don't know. So you could use a variable, but for now we're just going to use a blank. How many times is our operation signal word? We know that is multiplication. The digit in the tenths place. The digit in the tenths place we have here, which is five tenths. This helps me understand what the question is really asking when I see it as an expression. Now it should be much easier to understand. So we're starting we're multiplying five tenths 
by something that is unknown to make it equal to five hundredths? Well, we have five tenths here, and we want to make it smaller to see how it compares to five hundredths. Multiplication usually results in an answer or a product that is larger than the two factors or two numbers multiplied. But when you multiply by a fraction, it's actually going to make your answer smaller. If we're moving one place value, how much smaller would it be? It would be one tenth smaller. If we were talking about the digit in the ones place, which is five ones, things would change a little bit. If we wanted to know five is equal to how many times the digit in the tens place, which is five tens, we would know that we'd have to make five tenths larger. And instead of moving to a smaller number that we have here, five hundredths, we'd be moving this direction, making it larger. And we know that would be 10. 10 times five tenths would actually equal five. So the connection that I want, to, I want you to notice is that Whenever we're moving to a smaller place value, moving to the right, we are actually moving one tenth smaller in value for every place. If we're moving to a larger place value and moving to the left, each place value is 10 times greater. Be sure to really look at what the question is asking you. And if it's still confusing, take your important information and signal words out of that question, make it into a, an expression. That can really help you to understand what the question is asking. Remember, in the base 10 system, Every place value that gets larger is 10 times larger. Every place value that gets smaller is one-tenth smaller.